Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be showing my attempt to replace the LCD screen and the digitizer on my Samsung Galaxy Tab A 8-inch tablet. A couple of days ago, I accidentally left it on the roof of my car, and then when I drove away, the next time I went out, it of course fell off of the roof of my car into the middle of the street and eventually got run over by at least one car, maybe more, I don't know. But a few hours later, I discovered my tablet was missing, and in my search, I drove up the road to see if I had left it on my roof and if it had fallen off the car, which I had suspected possibly had happened, and did. I found it in the middle of the street, and it was completely smashed. The screen, of course, like I say, was run over by a car, so totally destroyed. Not only the digitizer, which is the glass that sits on top of the LCD display, and I guess gives it the touch capability, but also destroyed the LCD d display underneath the digitizer. So I've ordered a new one, and I am going to attempt to replace it. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I believe the tablet itself is working perfectly well, per perfectly fine. And the reason I think that is because I had several alarms on the alarm clock set, and those go off like clockwork. They go off just fine. And I can connect the tablet to my computer, and I can see all the files are still there. Everything seems to be still working. It's just the screen is completely destroyed. And I'll show a picture of that right here. So as you see from that, the, the car that ran over it, or cars, really did a job on it, as you would expect to have happen. But I'm hopeful that I will at least be able to get this screen replaced, and the tablet will still be usable. So if you're actually seeing this video, that means I was successful in getting it changed out, or at least worked well enough that I was satisfied with the results. So let's go ahead and get started and see if this is going to work. Okay, first things first, I did receive my replacement LCD screen and digitizer today from Amazon.com. As you can see, and I'll leave a link to this down below in the description of this video in case you have one as well and you need to replace it like I do. So I haven't opened it yet, and this is supposed to have a toolkit inside. So we'll see what comes with it. Okay, it comes with some, looks like tape. I don't know if that's double-sided tape or not, but it may be. A little tool, like a screwdriver, but it's not quite. It's just got a point on the end. And then several small, almost looks like Allen wrench screwdrivers. And then the replacement screen, which has a film protecting it. So there's the replacement screen. The LCD screen and the digitizer. So that's what comes in the kit that I have listed down below in the description of this video. And hopefully I will be able to use this to replace that and make this tablet operational once again. Okay, so the first thing I have to try to do is to get this damaged, destroyed screen off of the tablet, which looks like it's a pretty tight fit. The plastic tools that came with the kit didn't quite help get the case open, so I wound up getting a kitchen knife to help. Now, of course, if you're just replacing the digitizer, which is this glass piece on top, and your LCD screen is, in, is intact and working, you might want to be a little bit more gentle than I'm going to be, I'm not too worried about damaging it because I know it's destroyed already. But I don't want to destroy or damage the tablet itself. So I do need to be a little bit careful. Okay, now that I've got it apart, I have to remove the tablet from the screen, from the LCD screen and digitizer and of course while I was taking it apart I got a little shard of glass cut my finger not bad but it's annoying 
So I have these screwdrivers that came. They're out, little Allen wrenches that came with the kit that I bought. So we'll take this apart. There were a couple of screws that I missed while I was taking this apart. A little bit later, I went ahead and took those out as well. So if you're doing this procedure yourself, go ahead and take all of the screws out that you can see because you'll eventually need to do that anyway. There we go. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to get the battery out of here. So as you can see here, it says to lift this and pull with your hands only. So I'm going to carefully do as it says. And it doesn't want to pull. There it goes. Okay, there's the battery. Now there's two little cables on either side of the battery, as you can see here. You'll need to carefully disconnect those so that you can remove the tablet's motherboard from the case. Be careful doing this, you don't want to damage these cables. And here you can see I'm removing those final two screws that I didn't remove previously. And then you want to carefully remove the motherboard from the case. You don't want to damage it, of course, so you want to be careful doing this. And I would recommend kind of grounding yourself. I didn't do it here. But I would recommend grounding yourself just by touching something metal before you touch the motherboard or anything else inside the case. Basically the heart of the and if you're replacing the entire LCD screen, you'll want to go ahead and remove the speaker as well. That's the speaker, which is put in, it looks like, with double-sided tape. Don't know that I need these little feet, but I'm going to take them out anyway. Okay, that's the old screen, destroyed screen. Looks like I have it fully disassembled. Now we'll see if I can get the new screen put on and working. Once you get the battery reconnected to the tablet before you snap the back back onto the tablet, I would recommend turning it on just to make sure everything is working properly. You don't want to have to take it apart again if it if you have something missed, you didn't connect something, or something's not working properly. So before you put the case back together, just go ahead and check it. Make sure it's working. And it is powering up. And I can see the screen. Oh, it works. It's, I don't know if you can see that or not from the light, but it, it seems to be working. So it looks like probably unplugging it from the battery kind of resets some things. The date's off, the time's off, and a few other things are off. But it looks like it's working. I don't know if that's showing up on the screen or not, but it is working. And that's it. That's how you replace the LCD screen and digitizer in a Samsung Galaxy Tab A SMT350. 
and go from that to that. And there it is. Took me about an hour and a half, but I got it done. I'll leave a link down below to the parts that I bought and the kit that I used to replace this Samsung Galaxy Tab A SMT350 LCD screen and digitizer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around the channel.